Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Bite Size Reviews. If you haven't seen the series before, essentially what I'm doing is every two weeks trying to pick out new samples from my gigantic basket of makeup samples to work through and actually get use of and give you mini reviews along the way. If you missed the last video in this series where I picked all the samples I'm talking about today, I'll throw it up in the cards if you'd like to catch up, but let's jump into what I was actually able to finish. So I finished up using the remainder of the samples of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation. I love this foundation. It was incredible. Even the darker shades, like if I lightened them with a white mixer and mixed in other foundations, it just looked incredible. It was full coverage. It it just sat so beautifully on my skin. I really loved the finish of this foundation. It wasn't too matte, but it kept me looking put together and I loved it every single time that I wore this. I love the size of these samples. I got a full week of use between all the bubbles. There are four bubbles here. Altogether, I got a week of foundation use out of those, which is incredible for a sample. And I am incredibly interested in the full size product now, though I would have to actually figure out what shade I am. I still don't know. I think I'm fairly close to 2.0, maybe 2.5, uh, but I would have to actually go and get shade matched for that. So while I'm not gonna immediately buy it, I do know that I enjoy this formula. It works really well on me. And if I am ever in the market for a new foundation anytime soon, this one. It's right at the top of the list. The next product that I was able to use, but I was actually a bit disappointed in the amount that I got in this sample. This is from Guerlain. This was a sample of the Lingerie de Poe Natural Perfection Foundation in the shade 2N Claire Light. There wasn't enough product in here for a full face application, so I actually ended up mixing it in with one of the Naked Skin ones to lighten it up. So I really don't have any options like actual thoughts on this since I wasn't able to use it on its own other than the fact that I was disappointed that they really don't give you enough to use. Also, this was the hardest thing to open. I had to actually chop off the whole top to actually open the sample. I don't know why it was so difficult. <laughs> Next, I had two little samples of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, and I actually really enjoyed this primer. At first, it felt weird. It felt like kind of silicone-y, and I, I don't know, like it felt weird when I first put it on, but after I let it sink into my skin, it was an amazing primer. I would highly recommend, like if you do have this and you put it on, don't immediately go in with your foundation right on top of it. Like, let it sit for a little bit, because that's when I found that it melted into my skin. It really helped even out my complexion and my foundation looked incredible on top of it. That being said, this is an expensive primer and I have a drawer of primers, so I'm not gonna pick this up, most likely, but I really liked the amount that you got. I got a full application out of each of these little packets and I found that I really did like the formula and like the primer. Next, a product that surprised me and not in a great way. <laughs> This is the Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub from DP Hue ACV. I think that's the name of the brand right there. So this was like a, just like it says, it was a pink Himalayan sea salt scrub, scalp, scrub, scalp, scrub, scalp, scrub. And I found it was really difficult to actually work this into my scalp because my hair was so thick and because this product was so thick. So the fact that both were really thick, I had issues actually getting it down to my scalp to do the exfoliation. So that didn't work out so great. And then it was kind of a pain in the butt to rinse out. I didn't feel that exfoliated afterwards. I I, I honestly got a better result just using my regular clarifying shampoo and then like scrubbing my scalp myself. So I am not going to pick this up. I'm not really interested. And now I know that for if I ever am in the market for an exfoliating product, that I, I'm not going to find something that is this thick of a product with thick crystals like this because it's not going to work well with my hair texture. Right after I used that scalp scrub, I did cleanse with another sample. So this was a clarifying shampoo from Form. It did a decent job. I did actually have enough in this packet to clarify my scalp, which surprised me because I didn't think I was going to get that much. While I do like this, I definitely like the clarifying shampoo from Diva Curl better, and they're the same price. And I'm still in the market looking for an affordable clarifying shampoo, so this isn't what I'm looking for, but it did work for me for the sample, so I am grateful that I was able to get an actual shampoo use out of this. 
All right, so the last two products I actually wasn't able to get to before this update. The first one was this Glam Glow Cleansing Mask. I, I feel like I haven't been getting to this for a long time. I, whenever I do face masks, I tend to stick to my sheet masks because they're really easy. They're really like low maintenance. Like I can do them right before bed. I like to sit in bed and read and have a face mask on. And then when I'm done, I can just take the mask off, throw it out and just kind of rub in the essence and go to bed. Whereas with one of these, I have to like rinse it off and wash my face and blah, blah, blah. So moral of the story is I'm lazy right before bed and that's when I tend to do my face mask. So I'm gonna really push myself to use this one uh, before the next check-in. And if not, I might just have to declutter. It might just not be a product that works well with my schedule. The next product I didn't get to was actually the Shea Moisture Primer. I spent my time using the Hourglass Primer and then after that, I've actually been feeling really dry, so I've been going for a lot of hyper-moisturizing primers, and I just didn't get to this one. So I'm going to put this back into my rotation and hopefully get to it before the next check-in. Alright, so we've got two samples already, so I'm probably just going to pick a handful more from the basket. Alright, so the first sample that I picked is from Kiehl's, and this is another face mask. This is the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask, which instantly makes skin feel firmer and look smoother. So this is an overnight mask, so I feel like this would actually work really well in my current routine. So it looks like you just actually put it on right before you go to bed, wear it overnight, and then rinse off whatever's left in the morning. So that sounds interesting. And also hibiscus and ginger sounds like it might smell very interesting. So I'm actually pretty excited about using this mask. Next, I picked up a sample from Bior Briorgio. I always have difficulty pronouncing this. Briorgio. 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 So I guess they split it in the middle and it's it's not like combined. So it's Brio and then Geo. Briorgio. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I remember I did try this out a while ago. I think it was before I fully, I, I think it was before I fully went into the curly girl method and I wasn't deep conditioning that often. I'm now in a routine where I deep condition at least once a week. I'm actually trying to deep condition whenever I shampoo. I'm not there yet, but that would be my goal for 2019. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for a full deep conditioning treatment, but I'm gonna try it out. I also picked another hair care sample, and this one is from Amika, and this is the Curl Core Enhancing Gel. This is interesting. I, I haven't tried a whole bunch of different gels. I really stick to two, and I'm forgetting the name of one, so I will throw the pictures up right here of the ones that I tend to stick to, and I really don't move that much outside of those two, so I'm excited to try this out. I think this will be enough for a full finger twirl application after I do a deep condition, so that's what I'm going to do. Next time I deep condition and I go to do my hair, I'm going to use this gel instead of my usual gels. Next I have a sample from Lancome, and this is the Tent Idol Ultra Wear Full Coverage Foundation, and like the Urban Decay, it looks like I'm getting four little bubbles. I'm pretty sure I've tried this before maybe one or two of these bubbles. For the life of me, I cannot remember what I thought about this. So I've got the four bubbles. It looks like there's a lot of product in here, so I'm really excited about being to, like being able to use this. It looks like I got like a light version of these samples, so I have 110 Ivory, 220 Buff, 260 Bisque, 320 Bisque. So I think my closest shade match is going to be the 220 because it looks like a light warm shade. So I think I'm going to try that one first and then make the rest of them work. All right, and my last sample looks like there's like two of these kind of stuck together. This is from YSL and this is a sample of the Touche Claw All-in-One Glow Fresh Dewy Makeup. So I'm assuming this is a foundation. Looks like I have the shade B30 Almond and B60 Amber. I don't, I have no idea what these shades look like. They don't show you anything in the packaging, but there is two little envelopes here. So I'm assuming two different shades. So I think what I'm going to do is probably, I don't know if there's enough in here for a full face individually. I might mix these together and then do one full face application to see how that works. But I'm really interested. I haven't, well, I haven't tried a YSL foundation for a bit because I did purchase one a few months ago back in 2018 and it did not work for me and I returned it. So I, 
I'm a bit on the fence, but I'm interested to actually, you know, give it a shot. All right, so we're all caught up. Those are all of my samples for this next round. Let me know down below if you're working through any of your makeup samples, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.